Well, you are listening to CKUA. My name is Grant Stovall, and the program is Alberta Morning. Very excited for a conversation next with a brilliant Alberta visual artist who has a new exhibition, a solo show that's on right now through April 27th at Calgary's Alberta Society of Artist Galleries. It's called Speechless, and that's speechless spelt with the word eat in the middle of it. I'm very excited to bring Kimberly Jones, the artist, into CKUA's Airwaves to talk a little bit about it this morning. Kim, thank you so much for being here with us. It's such a treat. Thank you so much for having me. Now, this work in your new exhibition, Speechless, seems to draw on so many different interests of yours both the social issues that you seem to be interested in tugging on as an artist and commenting upon, and also the way you approach the actual art practice that we see at work here. What are the factors that inspired you to create the pieces that we see in Speechless? Well, Speechless is very much an effort to sort of mash two scales, um, for those of you who haven't had an opportunity to come down to the gallery yet, um, there are each one of these pieces is can be viewed on both a micro and a macro scale. The macro scale being um, a, a replica of food, such as you know a bowl of macaroni, a bowl of cereal. These really comforting, traditional, very common foods that we see and interact with and eat every day. And then the macro scale of each piece is the introduction of a micro element. So, you know, like a diorama, these foods become a, a landscape that miniature elements, a miniature population can be interacting with them as if they are an entirely separate landscape and, and they're interacted with as if they're a tiny world. It's so striking. I've had a chance to see a few photos of some of this work, and it is eye-popping and somewhat surreal in nature. Very, I find it very uh, thought-provoking. Uh, can, can you describe, there's a piece that's used in the poster art, which looks like some sort of a sponge cake. Can you describe that one for us? Absolutely. That one's the cozy cabin with buttercream. Um, so on that piece, um, if you if you are standing in front of it, especially if you're standing even a, even a few feet away, it looks like a just a really nice little piece of yellow sponge cake with some buttercream frosting on it. It's when you get closer that you see some elements. There are some trees. There is a cabin with a little wisp of smoke coming out of the chimney, um, and the buttercream transitions from being frosting on a piece of cake to a snowy windswept tundra and the inhabitants of that little cabin are living their little lives on top of that piece of buttercream. Oh, that is so enchanting. Well, you painted that picture so beautifully, Kim. Uh, Everything about this show, Speechless, seems very highly inventive and interesting. Like right from this brilliant title of yours, which is Speechless, but spelt with the word E-A-T, eat, right there in the middle. Incorrectly <laughs> spelled, you got it. That's terrific. <laughs> and and how, how does that speak, uh, no pun intended, but how does that speak to, to the kinds of themes that you're addressing in the uh, art pieces that you've included in this work? Well, and, and, you know, and speechless, the, the conventional spelling, the, the word was selected very much because I wanted this exhibition and this particular collection of pieces to be a piece that does not require a whole lot of talking. The food pieces, as well as the vignettes of the dioramas contained within each, uh, were, very, were selected very much to be comforting, emotional, familiar pieces and perhaps not emotional or comforting for everyone, but definitely speaking within myself as to items that that bring me comfort. Um, and then, of course, uh, and I think I very much get this from my from my mom, a little bit of a pun there. I, I played a little bit of wordplay and popped the word eat in there to give you a bit of a hint that this is very much a food driven collection. <laughs> And, you know, I think I mentioned earlier, seeing this work, I feel like the viewer's eye can't help but be kind of astounded by some of the contrasts in scale and in subject that you bring together in these pieces. And I really find that this provokes my imagination greatly. What are some of the questions that you're hoping that Speechless will have people asking themselves or maybe discussing with one another as they're leaving the gallery or going for coffee later? What are you, what are you trying to interrogate w- with some of these works? Well, definitely, I do hope to strike a certain level of of more innocent wonder of 
considering lives and worlds at different scales to see um, there is a piece called the station that's within this collection where it is um, it's a glass box that contains these little candies and cakes and and as you look closer I've I've put figures and lamps and travel posters to give it very much a train station feel and, and I genuinely do hope that people see these pieces and maybe it makes them think a little more about, you know, the worlds around us that we don't look close enough to see or, or you know, even the ones that, that exist within our own imaginations that give us a little bit of wonder to things that we may look over every day. Well, I find it enchanting, and it also makes me feel a little hungry, uh, the, the work in this <laughs> exhibition. Uh, Kimberly Jones, what a, what a treat it is to get a chance to chat with you about this. Love it so much, and I really, really am excited to get down there and check it out in person next time. I'm in Calgary. I'm going to head to see Speechless at Calgary's Alberta Society of Artists Galleries. Congratulations, Kim, and, and thanks for this. Thank you very much, Grant. That's Kimberly Jones. Find out lots more about Speechless by checking out the Alberta Society of Artists Galleries.